Hello and welcome to the Focusrite Innovation Lounge. Today I'm going to be taking you through setting up the 2i2 USB interface so you can start recording and building up your track in no time at all. But first let's have a look at what's inside the box. Inside the box we have the Scarlett 2i2, a USB cable and a package containing Live Lite 8 and the Scarlett plugin suite with compression, gate, EQ and reverb effects. The Scarlett 2i2 features two high quality award winning Focusrite mic pre's. These have nitric connections for jack leads or XLR cables. The anodized aluminium unibody chassis ensures your Scarlett 2i2 can withstand the harsh environment of the road. It's also bus powered, meaning that you don't need an additional power supply. The unique LED gain halos will show green when the signal is at a good level or red if the signal's clipping. Flick the direct monitor switch on the front panel of your 2i2 and you'll hear what you're recording through your speakers or headphones without latency, which can be distracting when recording. The first thing we need to do is install the latest version of the Focusrite USB audio drivers. So visit www.focusrite.com and click on Downloads. Then select Scarlett and the 2i2. Click on the DMG if you're running a Mac or the EXE if running a PC. Now we need to install the Scarlett plugin suite. So return to the Downloads page and click on Software and the plugin suite. Upon opening the plugins, you'll need to activate them by entering the activation number. Once installed, plug in the unit directly into a USB port of your computer and connect quarter inch jack leads from the speakers and plug them directly into the outputs on the back of the 2i2. Install Ableton Live Lite 8 and in the audio preferences, simply select the Scarlett 2i2 as a main audio input and output device. This is the same theory in any other door. So here in live, record arm the channel and begin building up your track piece by piece. I'm going to take you through creating a track. So in Ableton, I'm going to click on the tap tempo and adjust this to a suitable tempo, 136 here. And I'm going to turn the metronome on by clicking this symbol. Then I'm going to click on the linear mode of Ableton Live. There are two modes. And I'm going to remove the MIDI track because I'm not going to use MIDI. I'm just going to create a song made out of four audio channels. Press Command and D or Control and D to duplicate channels. The bottom right hand side of the screen, I'm going to click on I.O. And I'm going to configure these to record from the first channel of the 2i2. So now I've got to set up the microphone at a comfortable distance. I've got to make sure that I've got enough click in my headphones. And I'm plugging straight into channel 1. So I need phantom power because the mic requires it. And I'm just going to test that the signal doesn't go into the red. Now I need to record arm the channel and in the transport section simply click on play and the record function. When I'm happy with the take I can move on to channel 2 and press the record and play functions in the transport panel again. Record another take and in the third channel I've taken a master output of the Ultranova and it's gone straight into channel 1 again of the 2i2. Once you're happy with all your takes, you can cut and trim each audio clip. So here I'm cutting them to four bars each, simply by clicking on the edges of the clip. Then you can cut and paste each clip and arrange your song as you wish.
I've got a drum loop here that I'm going to drag into the session and cut and paste that twice. And I want to add some Scarlet Reverb to that synth line just to give it a bit of space. Now I'm going to quickly mix the track. Now this is obviously a subjective thing, so the best way to learn is to try different things out. On guitar channels one and two, I'm going to pan those left and right. That gives the track a bit of space. And the organ, I'm going to turn down in the mix a little bit, as I am with the synth line. Once I'm happy with it, I can export the audio and that's my track done. So there you have it, the Scarlett 2i2 sounds great and is a joy to use. Thanks a lot for watching.